Hey everyone. <laughs> so nice little update I wanted to share with you regarding my AES collection uh, for the Neo Geo. So I've been acquiring some new games recently in the past months. And also I moved into a new place uh, with my wife and son. Well, that means uh, an all new setup for my console, favorite console, the Neo Geo. I also bought myself an arcade cabinet, which you'll be seeing afterwards. And, um, and voila, so here we go. So this is my my actual shelf with the collection as of today, so um, May 2nd, 2019. I've got a couple of shelves with a, a mixed collection of AES titles, MVS titles, and some converts, which are on the bottom row as well and uh, let's get to it so I recently also acquired some uh, some Kaiser cases for my most collectible pieces so here we are so we've got right here as you can see uh, a nice um, power instinct matrimele which is uh, which is a great uh, fighting game uh, with lots of different characters very pop uh, kind of cartoonish but manga style uh, fighting game that I like a lot. It's really um, really a nice piece. This is probably my favorite item. Also in terms of, I mean, the game itself is just amazing. Polestar, the masterpiece from 1995 in AES. It's just, as for me, one of the best shooters ever to be released on uh, on a console. I mean, just when you look at the, the quality of the graphics, uh, the 3D rendering for the time, the variety also of backgrounds. Um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, you, it's the kind of game you'll, you'll always have pleasure playing and playing again. Mastering difficulty level, which is extremely high, even um, at uh, three points on eight, which is my usual level. Otherwise, I, I just can't make it. <laughs> So, why not? That's for the Polestar. Then we get on to a very nice piece. Kizuna Encounter Super Tag Battle in Japanese. This is also a quite rare piece. It's the, um, the sequel of um, Savage Rain, which was uh, one of the first games to exploit the um, tag, tag option that you can actually change, switch from one character during rounds, one character to another. Graphically very well done. Um, yeah, you also have like uh, different weapons, you know, like canes, swords, whatever. Sometimes guns. And it's definitely a nice uh, collector's item. By the way, these cases are really awesome. They're released by Kaiser. Uh, some guys who produced them in, the, in Japan, I think. And they are uh, acrylic, acrylic cases, which protect to 99% of UV uh, penetration. That means you can expose your games uh, on a permanent basis in front of the daylight and nothing will happen. So that's very nice. Here we go on to a very special piece. So <laughs> I'm sure you've heard of it. This is, um, of course, uh, Chibi Maruko-chan. Uh, Deluxe Quiz. It's an original piece. It's not a um, NCI, obviously. It has a strong sun fade on the spine, but the game is complete. And um, it already has a reputation of being one of the world's um, rarest games on consoles. So I was lucky enough to get my hands on that one. And I didn't hesitate more. I just went for it. Very nice piece. There we go, on to probably the the epitome of collectors, Metal Slug, Metal Slug AES, Japanese version, in uh, great condition as well, as you can see. And this is a, a genuine 1996 release. Uh, the insert in full frame like that is just, it's just so awesome, you know, you can you, I mean, at the time you, you just didn't really realize what was in this box, but once you actually plug it in, you're, you're completely into like the action of 
tank shooting, um, and uh, using different weapons, rocket launchers, laser guns, grenades, it's just... You'll never be bored playing this game, it's just great, yeah. So that's for Metal Slug. Then you have Sonic Wings 3, a great shooter, released in 1995, if I remember correctly. So this shooter is also, uh, it's a vertical scrolling shooter. It's um, it's quite nice because it exploits quite a lot of uh, different uh, special weapons, different characters as well. You can uh, choose between 10 characters. I believe two other secret characters can be unlocked. So it's always nice. There, uh, upstairs, what do we have? We have Magical Drop 3. This is just a great um, Tetris-like, I would say, combo game. Sort of mixed between Tetris and Puzzle Bobble, in a way. And you actually get uh, a sort of a one-on-one -on -one match all the time. So it's you're supposed to align, you know, um, same color bricks in order to perform combos that will suffocate your opponent. And it's just, uh, yeah, it's a very nice game. It's very rare also in, uh, in AES for the Neo Geo, so this one was, was really nice. It's in really good condition. I'm really thankful to the person who sold it to me a few years ago. Shock Troopers Second Squad, a great, um, a great shooter also. Sort of, um, well, very different, but Metal Slug seen from the sky, so it's, uh, it's also a shoot 'em up. Different characters, different, uh, yeah, different uh, street action. You can actually get some different guns and shoot around. Really nice. That's a typical Japanese game right here. As you know, I mean, Japanese are really fond of uh, horse racing. And this is actually uh, one of the games I believe you could play up to four players when it was, uh, when the arcade uh, cabinets were, were um, linked together. And yeah, it's just like a, a horse track racing game. Very nice. Tough to find also in AES. Nice piece. Good condition, no sun fade. All you need, all the ingredients you need in order to have a nice collector's piece. Then we go on to the more classic titles, I'd say. So this, we have Last Blade 2, uh, which I actually got twice. I can't remember why, but for some reason I got it. Yeah, I must have, you know, purchased it from different people. Uh, Garou, Mark of the Wolves. Just one of the best inserts out there that you can possibly find. It's just, it's known, I would say it's probably one of the best um, beat em up games you can find on the Neo Geo. Um, it's very technical and it's very uh, beautiful in terms of animation. It's Fatal Fury 4, basically, the last sequel of Fatal Fury, so it's um, very different from Real Bout, but it's close to the first, the original uh, Fatal Furies, with, uh, of course, uh, some uh, increased uh, and uh, bettered features. So, World Heroes Perfect. Last World Heroes in action. There we have Samurai Showdown 3. Some nice... Uh, Sword slinging action from uh, Japanese Middle Age. Great graphics. I mean, beautiful um, soundtrack as well. Very complete game. You also have Samurai Showdown 4, uh, Asakusa's Revenge. Very nice. Whoops. There we go. Samurai Spirit Zero. That's another Samurai Showdown game. SVC Chaos. This is actually the first uh, game where uh, the Capcom license was granted to SNK, and it's a clash between uh, King of Fighters uh, characters and uh, Street Fighter characters. So you, you can choose between Ryu, Chun Li, Ken, whatever. Nice. Real Bout Special Fatal Fury. We were talking about it. Ring out possibilities. Very nice. Very nice soundtrack. Very nice intro. Neo Geo Cup 98. We got the kick. 
That's a nice... Supposedly it's exactly the same thing as uh, Super Sidekicks 3, except this exact copy was released for uh, The Worlds in 1998. Railbat 2. This is just a great game. Very good value for the price also. It's uh, it's the one that came after Railbat Special, which I showed you previously. Incredible graphics. Incredible soundtrack. Very funky, very... Uh, but, you know, very good uh, lifespan. Kabuki Clash, Far East of Eden. Another fantasy fighting sort of uh, atmosphere. Here we have Last Blade 1. Last Blade 1. Also, uh, it's like a middle age samurai fighting game. Metal Slugs. So, Metal Slug 5. The very last one to be released in 2000. Three, if I remember correctly. Metal Slug 4, unfortunately with a bad uh, sun fade, but it's still Metal Slug 4. Look at this action, I mean it's just... Metal Slug is Metal Slug. It's a cornerstone of uh, action games in the Neo Geo. I'm really happy with this uh, first, uh, first run Metal Slug 3 in US. It's really... Um, it's probably one of the best games for the Neo Geo, I think. Packed with action, alternative routes, uh, very good lifespan. Metal Slug 2, a very nice piece, one of my favorites, especially for the artwork. The artwork is just amazing. And uh, you can tell this copy has been uh, maintained in very good condition as well. Yeah, so very nice, uh, very nice stuff. Here we have Fatal Fury 3, these are more common titles, huh? King of Fighters 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, where's 94, oh yeah, I put it somewhere else. Here we have Art of Fighting 3, The Path of the Warrior, very realistic fighting action, great game for 1995. Then we go on to... Um, other games such as World Heroes 1, which is actually not so easy to find. It's way more difficult to find than the sequel, number two. Robo Army, one of the first games to be released, 1991. Very nice kind of robot tech uh, beat-em-up mechanic game. Very nice. Graphically impressive, actually, for one of the first games to be released. Art of Fighting 2. Samurai Spirits. Samurai Showdown. Ah, here he is. King Fighters 94. Last Resort. Awesome shooter. For 45 megs, this game is just simply amazing. Just take a look at the graphics. I mean, it's... Um... <laughs> How do you expect a game to be launched in 1992 looking as cool as this? I mean, yeah, and the animations. It reminds me a little bit of Polestar. It's really the premises of Polestar, packed with a less large meg count, I'd say, but as effective. It's really effective. It's, it's just, wow. World Heroes 2, Burning Fight, sort of final fight. Neo Geo, Neo Geo style. Dunk Dreams, which is also called Street Street Hoop in US. Thrush Rally, this is just a car rally game, quite nice. Fatal Fury Special, Jap version. Fatal Fury 2. Nice piece here as well, Sonic Wings 2. Hmm. In Jap, very, very nice. That's the one, just number three, which I showed you previously. Nice vertical scrolling shooter. Uh, different special weapons, you know, like different attacks. Fighters History Dynamite. Uh, one of the less known beat-em-up games. Not that good, actually, but it's, yeah, it's pretty okay. Viewpoint, amazing. Amazing uh, three-quarters. Um view shooter, you know, with, um, yeah, I mean, like, the angle is very surprising, actually, at first you're, you're actually evolving in landscapes at sort of three-quarters, 
and it's uh, yeah, it's amazing. For 1992, it's just fat, really fat. Sengoku 2, awesome, awesome. Beat them all game. Very good lifespan. Very good. Uh, yeah, it's just it's just huge. And this is sort of uh, in the old Japanese. I think it's the Japanese eight, eight, Japanese 18th century with samurais and invocations. You know, spirits. You actually warp from one, you know, one world to another. It's, it's really nice. Very good um, original scenario to this one. Then you have down there Top Hunter, Japanese awesome run and gun game. World Heroes 2 Jet, Samurai Showdown US Top Hunter Euro version. Nice. Spin Master, awesome some sort of platform run and gun. Very nice. Ninja Commando. This is a great game, also vertical scrolling shooter with a very, very nice, I mean, uh, very nice animation graphics also. Fatal Fury 2, Fatal Fury Special, World Heroes 2 Jet, 3 Count Bout, World Heroes 2, Mutation Nation, King of the Monsters 2, Art of Fighting, Strikers 1945+. Plus. Then we get onto the converts. So these are just converts, basically, of games that were released in MVS. Unfortunately, I don't have the Blazing Star in original, but maybe, who knows. And this is probably one of my favorite games as well. Prehistoric Isle 2. Ah, that's just an amazing shooter where you're, you incarnate a helicopter, and you actually don't fight against aircrafts, but you fight against dinosaurs. And you get to shoot dinosaurs. That's pretty cool. A very cool game. Very nice lifespan. Alpha Mission 2. This one is really nice because it's, as you can see, still sealed. Hasn't been opened. Very good condition as well. It was a nice treat I got from a friend of mine. Unfortunately, not able to play with it, obviously. But on a Super Baseball 2020. Eight Man, Ninja Combat, King of Monsters, Magician Lord. Super Spy, Ghost Pilots, Riding Hero, Nam, 1975, Blues Journey. And a loose cart. Wow. A Fatal Fury. <laughs> How big is that? Ah, controllers. Nice mess stick. This is, um, uh, you know, for the MVS cards. Console, and I got myself a nice treat. I got... A Sony PVM 2730, which is just an awesome PVM. It's just very nice, very nice. I hooked it up with some uh, Bang & Olufsen um, speakers, which are connected to it. Very nice results. You can take a look directly with the game, for example. Insert it in here. Plug that little guy on. Mm. Yeah, but I'm just realizing actually I didn't put the, the skirt behind. Well, whatever. It works. <laughs> it's nice. And here I have a little special treat for you guys. This is probably a 19, mid 80s, 1985 kind of thing cab, which I got recently because I bought a special PCB of a game I literally adore on the arcade, which is also a shooter, horizontal scrolling shooter. You will recognize quite fast what it is. <laughs> In the Hunt. It's one of the best shooters for me. I just love it. 1993. Irem developed it, so after um, R-Type. 
And actually, the crew of Irem became <coughs> partly the crew of Nazca, that developed Nazca. setup. I hope you liked it. I'll be loving to present you some new titles for their collection pieces and uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and uh, I'll get back to you soon.